We have done something immensely innovative and effective over the last hundred years. This country has invested in public health, education, poverty alleviation, and what has resulted is that we have actually added more than 30 years to human life expectancy. That is unprecedented in the history of the world. We have added a stage to human life, and now we need to design that stage. We need to design for it. The opportunities for older people and for society are huge, but the opportunities for entrepreneurs are similarly huge. To understand both the upsides and the challenges and design for both, and I think there is no limit to the opportunity for the silver economy. The prevention and treatment of frailty and disability and um, caring for people with cognitive loss are key issues. Doctors, nurses, uh, rehabilitation professionals are what the aging population is going to need and we need to demand that our country invest from a policy point of view in training more geriatrically expert health professionals to prepare for providing the kind of care that people want and need and we have not made that investment. We also need to invest as a country in helping people stay healthy across their life course. And for that, we need a public health system that is invested in and empowered to use the knowledge we have to keep people healthy at every age and stage. The data are that if people arrive at age 70 healthy, they're tracked to stay healthy. And that is the wisest investment we could make because we now know that prevention works at birth and prevention works when you're 90 and 100. But we have to make the investment to deliver it and the return on investment for individuals and for society is huge. My name is Linda Freed and I'm the Dean at Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health.